I'm not very angry today, but uh, I'll still try to stay on brand. And uh, in addition to special teams consulting, I'm also the uh, director of business development for Zone Property. So I wear a couple hats. Whose, whose shirt but you're hey, wearing today? You're wearing their shirt. I'm branded up, man. Okay. I'm flying right. the flag. All right. So without further ado, Tuesday, July 23rd here, a little before 10 a.m. Pacific time. My article is from MJ Biz Daily and was published within the last 24 hours. Catalyst civil complaint against fellow California cannabis firm Glasshouse is dismissed. So let me just start off with weed for the people. A civil complaint against cannabis producer and retailer Glasshouse Brands by fellow California operator Catalyst Cannabis has been dismissed and a summary judgment issued. The Superior Court of California in Los Angeles County on July 15th granted Glasshouse's motion for judgment with prejudice and ordered Catalyst's holding company 562 Discount Med to pay legal costs related to the lawsuit, according to a news release. Unite as an industry. Glasshouse President Graham Farrar told MJ Biz Daily the lawsuit was frivolous and the company can now focus on bigger issues. But more importantly, we are happy to be able to put the waste of time and energy and resources for all sides behind us, he said via text. We are hopeful that we can stop the infighting and instead unite as an industry on the many common challenges like overtaxation and not enough legal access that would benefit patients, consumers, and all of the industry overall. The legal skirmish between the Long Beach headquartered companies began in mid-June 2023 when Catalyst CEO Elliot Lewis alleged in a lawsuit that Glasshouse was one of the biggest, one of the largest, if not the largest, black market cannabis, black marketers of cannabis in the state of California, if not the country. The court granted Glasshouse's motion for judgment, ruling that an injunction to halt alleged illegal sales would assume the functions of an administrative agency or to interfere with the functions of an administrative agency. The court was referring to California's primary marijuana regulator, the Department of Cannabis Control. The court also said the enforcement of any injunction would be overly burdensome. The ruling effectively ends a year of infighting between two of the largest operators legal back and forth. Glasshouse countered in June of 2023, filing a defamation suit against Catalyst Lewis and co-founder Damian Martin of running a systematic defamatory, defamatory social media campaign that falsely compared Glasshouse to a Mexican drug cartel. Then in May, Glasshouse withdrew its defamation lawsuit against Catalyst, citing concerns about revealing sensitive customer information amongst other factors. Catalyst is one of the state's largest retail chains with 30 locations. Glasshouse is one of California's largest vertically integrated operators. Glasshouse shares trade as glas.a.u on the CBE Canadian Stock Exchange and GLASF on the over-the-counter markets. The company's shares are up 1.8% to $7 and a nickel as of midday Monday. So this lawsuit kicked up a lot of dust has been widely covered and there has certainly been uh, a back and forth in the court of public opinion um obviously i think it would be fair to say this show has an affiliation uh but not a preference but an affiliation for callus they've been great for this show weed for the people elliot lewis is very colorful and incredibly uh entertaining and glasshouse is a big operator here in the state however it's never a good look when the judge rules that you have to pay somebody else's legal fees. So this is Yara Kubrin, High at Nine News. Not angry, but I'll find a way to be. <laughs> oh boy. Not angry. Uh, uh, under, under yes, yes, Yara, you gotta wait fits. for my story yet. What and what, 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 what was the what, what, what was the what, what was the underlying reasoning that they that 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 they awarded um that that they awarded the uh the the, the judgment in that manner, Yarl? Um. Well, it meant that they hadn't done a good enough job proving that there was there there again. I'm not Dale Schaefer. I don't practice law. Mm -hmm. I can't say that I have a legal lens. But when you pay somebody else's legal fees, that's not a win. I would just say because 
I would just I would I would have thought that each party would have paid for their own legal thing. So I'm disappointed to hear um, that, that 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 is. Well, and, and in full full, full transparency, <laughs> we do uh, operate out of, out, out of a space uh, with within Catalyst. Um, and and Elliot and Anna are both uh, friends of the show, and I'm also friends with, right. with friends with Graham and with Kyle too. So full full transparency. I know all parties involved in this whole thing. Jason and I are finally just right and down the middle with a opinions we don't have mm -hmm. any i mean it's well, you know I, it sucks I, and i will say to elliot's point i appreciate that he stands on business when he believes something he stands mm -hmm. up and he's willing to you know you know after my own heart i appreciate it if you believe something stand up for it and i think that that's great i you know hopefully we can kind of put this behind us hopefully everybody's businesses thrive and we'll be so busy you know counting money and giving weed to the people that you know this doesn't matter at the end of the day but i you know don't have a whole lot to say on either side other than it's a tough one it's a tough one you never want to see your friends fighting. and look we're we're all we're all in the California industry. We don't want to make any enemies. We don't want to step on anybody's toes. We've watched this. It appeared that there was merit maybe on both sides of the arguments. And I'm sure there's a lot these people can't say publicly now that right. they would love to get off their chest or additional color or background that they would love to provide. That said, when a judge, uh, when a motion for judgment with prejudice is, is, is issued by a judge, and they order you to pay the other people's legal fees, that is not a win. And so it, Correct. I, I'm, I'm certain there's disappointment on the part of the plaintiff, uh, but when you have to pay someone else's legal fees, that's a massive ticket and not, it's not, it, it, it's also a massive loss. A hundred percent. I think the only you know? thing left to do here is, um, is Elliot has to just start dropping subliminal disses on uh, track after track after track. <laughs> can we see Elliot just like walking down Pine? You know what I mean? Like they not like us. Can we get a parody Elliot video? That would be sick. I would Real watch that. Shit. Mm -hmm. I would watch that. Yes. Then um, I imagine that this lawsuit on the on the glass house side and the legal fees that Catalyst is now going to pay are a substantial sum. Yeah, they're not cheap. Yeah, I know. You know, like no, no legal bill, le legal bills are cheap. Just, j just for starters. Um, but when you're dealing with with corporations, that brings a whole other level of of expertise and uh, uh, bill uh, bill expenses. Billing. Yeah, yeah, billing. Um, and so and so, I, I know it's definitely is 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 got to be at least a six figure bill. And this was a lengthy. This was a oh. lengthy battle with. It's a mm -hmm. high six figures bill. This was a very lengthy battle with a lot of complex filings that that's a lot of a lot of time so mm -hmm. i mean you know and, it's unfortunate and the burden of proof in civil is much lower than in criminal and so they were not able to meet some measure some threshold to show that those allegations had enough merit and as a result they're paying the other side's fees mm -hmm. i think there's only one thing left for uh, elliot to do is run for governor of california oh lord that would be fun. Well, I mean, let, why don't we all band together and fight the state? Because these taxes are probably something we can all agree on is bullshit. Let's all lobby against 280. Let's all, like, you mm -hmm. know, I'd like to see us band together right now, especially because everyone is under so much pressure from the, the entities that be over us. Mm -hmm. um, well, I I appreciate his, 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 his passion as well as his being loud. I think that uh, – it's important when you have a position or perspective to really bang the drum. And I think he's done a great job of that across a variety of issues. And when that legal bill hits them, they're not going to be happy about the outcome. No. And uh, and, and shout out uh, to uh, um, Miss Anna Lewis, the CEO of Catalyst, who yes. is in the chat and, yes. and and agrees with Jenny and says it's all good. The real fight is with the state. And and it 100%. is 100 percent right, because we're being grossly overtaxed, grossly overregulated from every single angle that you can imagine. And underserved. Yes, underserved. And the money's just going into the general funds and just, just which is police. It's, it's, for those of you that don't know, police and, and politics. Politicians are the general fund and and sham and, and she's right it reminds me of that scene in gladiator where russell crowe is looking at these other guys in the arena and he says i don't know what's coming out those doors but we're better served if we stand shoulder to shoulder and we fight against it together and mm -hmm. so whatever the dust up is whatever the facts are whatever the he said he said is at the end of the day She's completely right that the biggest issues in California, and it, it's also reflected in, in, in Mr. Farrar's statement in the article, the biggest issues in California are taxes and lack of access. Mm -hmm.